Hey guys, Coach Science here with Atomic Athlete. We want to talk about a concept, training age, and its relation to rate of improvement. All right, training age is simply how long an athlete's been training, how long they've been following a dedicated strength and conditioning program, or even how long they've been actually consistently working out. Okay, training age is interesting because it has nothing really to do with your biological age. We have some athletes that are in their 20s that have a very high training age. And like, conversely, we have a lot of athletes who are 40 and 50 years old who have a very, very low training age, okay? So it's one of those things that doesn't matter how many years you've been alive on this planet, it really comes down to how many years you've spent in a gym. Now, how this relates to rate of improvement, we see this a lot with in-house athletes. So a new athlete will come to us, never have any experience in a strength and conditioning facility or a gym, or they may come from like an endurance background. They step in this gym and every day they train. They're getting stronger and stronger, regardless of the programming. They see 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50 pound jumps and one rep maxes, okay? I like to say that was because our programming is amazing, but it's really just because of a very, very low training age and that stress that we're applying in the gym for them any stress is going to provide an adaptation and make them stronger so that concept of uh, the law of diminishing returns it really applies to fitness as well and if you look behind me right here we have a little chart the idea is the longer an athlete trains months years, maybe even decades, the harder it is to see continuous improvement. We start seeing very, very small fluctuations in numbers instead of that big, huge jump that you get that first year you train. All right, so a lot of athletes who've been here now at that year to two year mark, they're accustomed to having 20, 30 pound jumps every time we do a new strength cycle and every time we retest our one rep maxes. All the coaches in this gym are very experienced athletes and for us, we go up five to 10 pounds it is awesome, we are stoked, okay? Because most of us now are on this far end of that spectrum, all right? We have a high training age, been training 10, 15, some of us almost 20 years. So as an athlete, as you progress through your training, and whether it's CrossFit, strength and conditioning, even endurance type sports, keep in mind that the longer you're at it, the longer you are training consistently, the more precise your programming is gonna need to be to actually see good improvements, all right? You'll probably always see that slow, slow, steady increase, all right? But you're not gonna see those big, consistent jumps that you see in months three, six, and nine, and even that one to one and a half year mark, all right? When you get in those multiple years of training, you're seeing very, very small incremental gains in fitness. So keep this in mind as you're moving through the journey of fitness and your training.